this is the one star uh, Timo Pet, the weekly challenge with our one star Elder Dragon. Let's do this, yeah. So the new champions, I have unlocked them all, but uh, Elder Dragon and Mordecai are like uh, one star and zero star, but more uh, Morgana is two star. So yeah, I'm using my fragments to get them unlocked and leveled up. So it's gonna take a while, but fine. At least we have them unlocked, so that's good. So let's look at the Pat's mutators. Okay. All spells and skill deal, deal one extra damage. And let's look at Elder Dragon's power, one star power. All allies with base cost plus cost plus six cost one less. Anything that cost plus six cost one less. Card, I mean, not necessarily discounted. Okay. When you summon a unit, uh, a unit with eight plus attack, health, or cost, grant eight plus eight plus ten. Pretty, pretty nasty if you think about it. Wait, I don't even know the cards in this deck. Unit with. Uh, unit with 8 attack, 8 HP or 8 cost. Elder Dragon is the only one who costs 8 plus. But I think we will eventually have more... Okay, I'll try, try it out. I'll try it out. Elder Dragon seems like a Titan Nick, yeah. I have no idea how this deck works. He's level 1. I've never played him. I haven't even played him in PvP. Dude is just super big and... Yeah, I don't really like... I don't really play that style. Okay, 2-3 is nice. We don't have two extra mana because, you know, it's one star. Okay, oh, why did his cost go down? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna give Overwhelm to this guy. Dude, so scout Overwhelm Dragon. Back in. One star versus one star path, so should be fine. Hmm, we play our dragon. He's, actually, has pretty good spells at least. Combat spells go a long way. We'll play our dragon. We'll take the trade if they swing, yeah. Definitely. This guy grows, this guy dies. Okay. When I mean, I'm summoning, heal your nexus and gain next round. Next round. Okay. Next round will be turn 5. So we'll give turn. F uh, we'll get. We'll be able to play the 6 mana one. Of course, we'll swing. Oh, this costs 7, but it costs 6 because his base is 6 plus. Yeah, so 1 extra mana because of this girl. Yeah, our dragon. Oh, where's the overall on this one? Uh, okay, I think that. Uh, what we want to give? Uh, Elder Dragon. Up is more pretty good. Dude's a tough scout overall. Nasty. We'll play the second dragon as well. Yeah, this girl's super. Yeah, 1 extra mana goes a long way. Uh, I'll take Challenger. Go for that dude. Both are scout attackers. Okay. Definitely block with these because they are fury, they grow. Okay, now I can no longer go after that one because my dragon will die. So I'll just do this. If they trade that, block it like this, I'll take it. Yeah, I will keep these guys at the back. Super. Oh, now we'll attack with everything. Uh, I can still take the trade. Or would you want to? Yeah, I will. That's fine. Hey, wait. Elder Dragon leveled up already? I don't know. But yeah. Uh, the squad looks pretty good. Super stable squad. Yeah. Super stable squad. You know, deck is good if the deck is winning without the champion on the board. Okay. It's a 4 mana 5 3. Take on time damage for that. I'll take a reroll here. Uh. Mm, this seems interesting. 4 mana for equipment. Equipment is normally not that good. But regen on a dragon is pretty good. I'll take a regen. Uh, good for support squad. Anything that six six plus will be good for us. Nope. Anything of six plus? Okay, we can take Morgana. Uh, okay, I'll take Morgana. Morgana, Elder Dragon. Both of them are new. I have no idea how well they works, but I'll take it. One stalls the game. Morgana stalls the game and his life steal. If I buff Morgana, I will have. I'll be able to stall the game even more. But should be fun. Okay. This is pretty nasty. This is pretty nasty. As long as I have this girl in my hand, I want a six mana dragon. Why does it go down by one? Mm. For every dragon boon you have played. Oh, because it's a six plus card. That's why its cost goes down. Okay. Over okay, fine. Let me give overwhelm on the yeah, elder dragon. If I can eventually play him. No point attacking. 3 HP. My unit dies. Okay. Oh, son the strongest. Weakest. Okay. Let's do this. Shuts the attack down. We'll take the block. I'm not losing a unit anyways. Okay. 
I can't I can't play this girl until I have a six mana card or the mana on the turn you'll play it. Like on turn I, ten, I can play it so that I get this one. Okay, so so I can play this one. If I play this one, the next turn. Uh, okay, I don't need to play this one. Is because I'm gonna be able to play this guy next turn anyway, right? So might as well just do this. Put even more shackles on the dude. Shackles cost goes down. You don't. They, you don't get. They don't get multiple copies by the way. Yeah, I'll take this one. I can take a trade here. I'm gonna use this to kill it though. I think I should have. Yeah, I think that was my bad. I definitely should have killed that one. Because it grows. Exactly. Definitely should have killed it. Okay, it's fine. So grant an ally, challenger, and plus one. So what we can do is we can just do this. Okay, now if I do that, I won't be able to play that one. I think we're doing it this way is right. I definitely should have killed that one, by the way. Uh, should I play this one? Nah. I'll keep the mana for the fire, uh, strike to be there. Here's our chance. And we'll play this dragon. Pretty good. Challenger. Pretty good. Heal is also pretty good. Challenger gets traded there, though. I don't even need heal right now. I'll take Challenger then. Okay, stun. Can't really do anything about that. Now who's got the upper hand? Okay. We have another stun. Okay, this is gonna get stunned next turn, right? Yeah. So let's just keep the strike for the time being. I played it as a stop. I should have just killed it with this one. This one is causing so much trouble. Okay. We're gonna do that. Um. I'm just gonna play this one. We live in times of wonder. And this one. Ah, uh, spell channel Elder Dragon. What we want to do is use our Ia strike now. So we can just do this. Oops. This and this. That's the reason why I was saving it. I wanted to do it in a turn when I need to. I have to, I mean. So we don't actually have that many six costs. Loading this one is oh, oh damn it, one one mana short. Okay, this will lower the cost, right? Yeah, okay, challenger. They already have challenger. Uh I'll take off. Yeah, this will lower it. Okay. Morgan has leveled up. Kill the uh, Elisa first. Recall fine. They have a lot of recall and stun. I don't even remember it being this difficult. Okay. Play our two sentinel. Thanks, they have to block this. Yeah, they have to block both of them. I definitely should have used the sharp, the sharp side that moment. Okay, we're well, already against here. There's always a way out. It's not like I can play anything extra, so just might as well play him. Oh yeah, he's a titanic one. He will get plus eight, plus eight as it is base from the power. Oh, we haven't even used this power properly yet. Elder is the only one who can use it properly. Can't block that. I can block it, but it's fine. It's fearsome. He finishes the game off, by the way. Swing fish should finish off. Nobody can block the fearsome. How did that move go? And even spells won't work, I think. If they use triple spell, then okay. Then it will work. Okay. We'll take it. Now they have no defense against us in the next swing. And these contributed for the level up as it is, by the way. It doesn't matter if they block it now. Uh, I'll take plus one, plus one. Man, can you imagine how, like, uh, because of I, I missed this spell on that kill, the game went so longer. I mean, the game went longer. Man, what is wrong with me? Okay. Uh, challenger on. He already has challenger. So play double scout then. Because we missed playing a spell, the game pro it prolonged the game for this till this far, dude. Okay, we just swing with Elder Dragon levels up, by the way. Definitely levels up. There we go. Nobody can block him anyways. Yeah, leveling him up in Path of Champions will not at all be that difficult. Damn, 41. He cannot be stopped, yeah. There we go. They should add a flaming like sound when he does it. I mean, the, the animation goes through. But yeah, you don't hear, hear anything when he fires with breath. You, there should be like a fire breath noise, in my opinion. But it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. A little slow, but it's Elder Dragon. Oh, damn, dude. This will have 1818, by the way. I'll take it. 
for the swirl. And it costs 7 mana. Okay. This guy will have inbuilt over one. Take it and you have more copies of them. Okay. So as you go through the path, you'll have more 6 mana things to play around. That's good. Because it, it feels like at the start, you have a very low 6 mana units. All of them 6, 7 mana. Okay. Too expensive for the opening hand. Okay. So I'm just going to keep nothing in my opinion. I'm going to have the small guy. The small guys at the first... Even keeping one is pretty risky, by the way. What if you don't get any, anything? I mean, what if you go to all 7 6? So I will pass this one because I don't have anybody good to put spells in an overwhelm on. Now I can. I will definitely give. Okay, this guy has overwhelm. Yeah, overwhelm inbuilt. So it'll be spell shield. I'll take the trade. I don't have to use anything. I want to use these things on specific units. This guy's job is done. Give or. Uh, Spell shield. So I will pass to see what they do because I'm gonna shackle something. Yeah, I'll shackle this one. Mama told me to stay away from strangers. They can't even play that because they don't have their mana. So swing. They shut the damage. We go next. If they play anything, we shackle it again. Or we can shackle this one because it just it supports that. Uh, when I support, give my uh, give me plus three and my uh, give my support ally plus. We shackle that one as well. Oh, I don't have to do it with this. I will do it with Morgana. Morgana shackles for four, I think. Yeah, we're gonna shackle twice, that's why. Yeah. So even if they broke the shackle, they don't attack. Okay. Now I'll bring my dragon. Special dragon. Uh, I think definitely challenger. Out challenger or... Um... Okay. Elusive. Definitely take the elusive out. And you, you don't care about that one because that ha has yeah on it. Shackles on it. That's one hit. This is a second hit. I have enough sh uh, sharp side to keep my yo. There we go. Just yeah, super. Honestly speaking, Elder Dragon's deck is super well made. Like without even Elder Dragon, it works super well. Yeah, the Elder Dragon package is pretty nice. Uh, kill one to the enemy nexus. I don't actually know if it's good or not. Kill to do give vulnerable. I think I'll take this. It's a burst. One mana give summons a Poro as well. I mean, it's a one cost here. I don't need a buy heal. We'll just take a normal heal of zero and go to the shop. Okay. Create an equipment. Equipment is something that I don't want. This guy is nuts. Holy shit. 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight with deathless plus one. Attack if, if it's a dragon, summon it. I'm gonna take two of these guys. A uh, capture dragon is also here. Yeah, so this package gets a lot of 8 mana things. Okay, I don't want anything extra. I'll take a reroll here and not take that one and keep it. <coughs> And keep on continuing. Take a heal. The reason why I don't want the counterfeit thing because I don't really enjoy that power that much. And if putting more stuff in the deck makes it more weird for me to draw stuff. So it was never been my favorite power. Elder Dragon, we don't really want that. Again, we won't keep any big things in the hand. We want the early, yeah, we want early game setup and then we'll do it. Blue Sentinel is pretty good. I've always kept yeah, Blue Sentinel in my squad. In squad where I have to summon big things. You just have to sacrifice it on a specific turn. Like on turn 4. So what we want to do. Is play Blue Sentinel. But we don't want to. Uh, let's play Blue Sentinel for the time being. It's just blood, darling. They can block with that one. This one only. Yeah. I'm probably going to shackle that dude. If they not, if they don't open attack that is. Okay. Shackle. Definitely shackling Katarina. Okay, darling. Just like you showed me. Okay, next turn is turn turn four. I will have turn five. Okay, never mind. They didn't attack. Yeah. Definitely. So we'll play this one. A friend, I bid you welcome. Okay. Telling here. Uh, who can I attack with? I can attack with no, no, I can only attack with this one because the only proper trade is this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'll just do this. Ooh, it does three damage. Three damage is coming from where I don't know. Okay. Okay. I don't want to strike it right now because they might play a second Katarina, right? So we'll just pass and see what they do. Okay. We do it like this. Uh, what we want to do is, oops. Do they have Scott? Okay. Okay. We can give vulnerable, right? We can. What we do is we do this. 
It minimizes the amount of damage we take. Katarina doesn't even level up. So stays on the board. We take the four mana. Wait, wait, wait. We... Now three damage is too much. I thought it was one damage. It's good to be the king. Catch your sacrifice right now. Never mind, it's fine. We keep the mana. I'm gonna use th this one to drag and kill them. Okay, we'll just play this one then. Heal? I guess heal. Uh, plus one, plus one, fear some is also pretty good. Nah, let's play heal. Let's keep our HP up. Use the 77. Right? Exactly. Because of the 8, 8, I'm so, like, oh, less concerned. Okay, I'll take here, here, and here. The photo on them. Kill Katarina. Okay, kill Katarina. Wait. I obviously want to drag it with the dragon in case they buff or kill or something, right? I don't want to have to do that one. Uh, he will summon a dragon. If it's a dragon, it comes on the board. If it's not a dragon, then it didn't come on the board. But that's why it didn't. But it's fine. Let's get Katarina, which we were expecting. That's the reason why I didn't kill it beforehand. I was waiting for them to attack. Or do this here as well. Eight mana. Okay, I want to keep my mana open for strike. Yes. So I'm going to play this one. Uh, I'll give Deathless. Yeah, once these guys come on the board, it's very difficult for them to get... get We'll get rid of okay we'll do that. we are okay with that same drill as before we're gonna attack in an angle so we'll do this uh do this and do this yeah. is that less he comes back i'm not worried okay. this can't block and if you swing if you get a dragon it comes on the board oh, damn it last turn i had it I actually had a scout as well. Yeah, comes on the board. Super. Oh, he comes on the board. Buff. Yeah, absolutely nuts. Yeah. Super, super. It would be crazy if an elder dragon come on the board like that. Yes, yeah, so you want to play around things to play them faster. Yeah, elder dragon. Informal copy of itself is it's nice. Okay, actually, true. You will have triple, double strat line. He will have 16. You will have 32 damage on the board. All others have fury. What if they have fury? Will they have double fury? When you do dam uh, damage, you reduce their attack power. Major the cases, people die. I don't think it matters. Okay, fine. The smaller units will make a difference then. I'm not... Gold and item attachment will go. Item attachment will go too much gold. Maybe 830 gold. Nothing to spend it on. So we'll just go up the upper side. I think Elder Dragon will be solid. He looks pretty good. Throw away everything except the small ones. I think I could have kept this one. This is also fine. I should throw away this one before the final fight. I'm not getting a that big chances because they're so big that you even don't even need regen on them. I thought you would to sustain and shit. So we pass to see what they do. Okay, that's fine. Bang the mana because we play strafing strike now. Strafing strike. Okay. We'll, okay, next turn will be four, but I can have five. So I'm just gonna shackle this one. I want to, I want this to die next turn. Okay, unshackling it. Okay. Uh, I don't want to take this much, this much of damage. I'll take the block. Because we don't even have that much HP, so keep that in mind. This is the turn when I'm okay with for this dying because next turn I'll have enough mana to play them. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass. It's fine. We can attack this turn. It's a temporary thing though. This is the turn I wanted to die, so next turn I can play this one. Definitely playing this one. On this guy. Let it die, let it die. Oops. Okay, we're never mind. We're in the opposite. This one is nice. This is okay. Get our mana ready. Get this guy. And we can play this guy. We can play the scout as well, but this guy's nuts. He gives units, that's why I like playing him. Uh impact wise. Yeah, the only reason why I'm playing him is because he gets the 8-8. This person doesn't. Back in oh baby! Holy shit. El Dragon. Super. How much damage? 
36. If this three swings, we this is 72 right here. 76 right here. Our dragon. Super. It was absolutely clutch, dude. Yeah, we don't even have that many cards, so it's quite understandable. Card attack first. That to, that alone should win us the game, yeah. Overall. Okay, pretty good. Super, super. I need to read that power. Does it give a plus eight after when you summon a unit with no? You have to read it's a summon effect. Uh I don't really like any of them. Okay, fine. I'll give my sharp side manifestation. Uh overall. I'm give my yeah, overall. If it comes directly from that dragon, he can actually do massive overall damage. Plus two, plus two. Which you don't need plus two. Up, upper fixer, I will definitely take up. Or just there, okay. Left is common, right is rare. We go for rare powers. There are new powers in the system. Getting them is an, another, another thing, though. Okay. Throw these away. Okay, I'll take the scout dragon. The scout dragon, and that's actually true. It's it, it, the double attack. What's more valuable? Double attack or insanely high stat line? Probably insanely high stat line. Okay, taking turn. This guy's special, I guess. Get to the arm. So Shiraza is here, so you have to be a little careful. Uh, interesting. Let's give a warm to this guy. Can't really do anything. I'm just gonna take the 15 damage. 5 damage, I mean. Yeah. My HP is low. This is something that you that you are always concerned with a low uh, unit. No unit, as in I mean, um, what's the thing called? Low level champion. Might get killed this game. Yeah, I have a high, I have a feeling I'm gonna get killed. Can't play anything here. I think I did lose, right? You can do. Couple here, here. Speed damage, survive with me. Keep this guy alive. And ally with Popper can capture a unit or landmark. Question is, do they have ways to do phase damage? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Uh, I'll do this here. It's arriving with 2 HP. Oh, it goes away, damn it. Then there was no point. Um, let's play this and see what they do. But I didn't use too much. Capture it. Ah, uh, do it like this. Problem is, if they have anything next turn that does damage directly, I will lose. I don't have any counterplay. I'll play slow. So I definitely need to play the dragon and hopefully heal. Oh heal. But we can put a challenger against that. Oh no, we lost, right? No, we didn't. We would have survived with one HP. Seven. Still can't play. Okay. Let's play this one. At least heal. Thank God for that. Scout attack first. And then attack with everything. No dragon. Damn dude. Holy shit. We almost lost there. Ugh. Uh. Like I said, that capture card saved us. <laughs> yeah, thank god I didn't use my mana or the capture card and we would be in big trouble. Yeah, that clutch save right there. Seven mana. Don't really have the great of stat. 
Do I have anything better? Okay, I have a power coming in, so I don't want to use my reroll. You always want to re use your reroll in these pit stops. When you play a slow spell, copy it on the same target. Do you have a slow spell on us? Majir didn't work super fast. I'm gonna take a reroll here. I don't have good value. Okay, this is also pretty bad. I don't want unnecessary stuff in my hand. I can take a rally. I can take this one as well. This is actually pretty good. I'll take this. Couple of them is pretty good. It has heal built in it, by the way, so that's pretty good. Uh, I don't need anything X. Else, X. Heal for full. 100. Full. And face off against a one star Timo with our one star Elder Dragon. Yeah, I think he's pretty good. He's gonna get better for two star, and three star is just too good. Don't really like any of them. Dark Finding. I don't think Dark Finding will make that big of a difference. Timo is coming on turn one. Surviving is the main yeah, goal here. I can use this to block the next attack of Timo. Question is this one or this one? This guy already has overall, so. Pretty serious. Okay. Uh, let's play this one. We'll take a block here. Oh, they're blocking with Timo. Nice. Go to attack power Timo. Now Timo can't even attack. I mean, he can attack. It's just that he won't get anything. I'm gonna start burning soon. Uh, what do I want to do? It's a 3 2 no. It's a 2 2 no. Um, let's just shackle here. Mama told me to stay away from strangers. I think that's the right way to go because I can't play this would be turn four yeah so I would be I wouldn't be able to play the dragon anyway get spurned I think from this point onwards now I can play this one because next turn it will be five I can play the six mana dragon okay. oh I'll oof. eat that card okay let's attack this this if they block it like this I take the trade because uh, puff cap peddler is a painful card to deal with Next, now we can play our dragon. Are we okay? We lost our elder dragon though. Have a chance that we might burn our elder second elder dragon. Is that this one. Oh, uh, I'll take tough for my dragon. Scout dragon with tough. Grand Island Challenger, please. Plus one, plus one. Probably I'm gonna play this one next round. Shackling this guy. I'll remove the shackle. Yeah. Hopefully not a Lindergo burn. Okay. Two Sentinel will play our challenger here. Uh I'll take a challenger on my dude as well. Four damage. We let it die, it's fine. Okay. Four damage. Okay. So strike here. Good. Strike here. And I'm gonna give this guy region. Plus two plus two. Wait here wait on the back and do this. So this guy goes back to full HP. I mean I got decent value of that <laughs> spell, but don't take the regional spell, yeah. It's not that great. Giving minus to Timu was actually the game winning thing there. That or Morgana. Shackle it. <laughs> Quite funny. We'll just spell chill this guy. And we swing and finish them off next turn anyways. Yeah, scout attack coming in. Actually, the honestly speaking doesn't uh, we don't even have to do the scout attack. We just pull and swing. No need to scout attack, just pull like this and swing. That's overwhelmed. Okay. It doesn't matter even then we have enough damage. Super. Nice, nice. Yeah, we did pretty well. That the Hextract Foundry was this causing a lot of burns, but it's fine. Okay, so the one star team move uh, path, the weekly challenge done with our one star Elder again. Let's see what we get. Probably an A. Not good enough for an S, but A. Okay, A. Champion achievement power discussion time. Power discussion time. So the only attachment I have on my Elder Dragon is region. 
I just gave him a, a region because I don't really know how he works. So basic, <laughs> I'm using the basic fundamentals. Either challenger, quick attack, or region on him. It's fine. It works pretty well with region. But obviously, the game ends by the time by the time he comes on the board. So overrun on him wouldn't be that bad. If you get default overrun, you don't need to put overrun like I did. But yeah, pretty nice. Uh, let's look at the powers. Upper fixer, round start. Give your weakest ally plus three plus this round. When you do, uh, when you deal damage to an enemy, its power is reduced by the damage it takes. And of course, when you summon a unit with eight attack HP or cost, grant it plus eight plus three. This is actually pretty good for Elder Dragon because I wouldn't say majority of them are plus eight and above, but majority of them are super close to plus eight. So you, what you can do is, even if a card is not in this requirement, you can just buff stuff up. Like, like example. Like this guy, if you buff it, buff its stats to 8-8, this condition will apply on it. So a lot of cards are close to 8-8, but not 8-8 yet, but you can give them this buff. It's pretty nice, pretty good. And of course, uh, this is Elder Dragon, uh, one star Elder Dragon's power, allies with base, cost plus 6, cost 1 less. And that's about it. Okay, so this is a 3 star Caitlyn Pad, the weekly challenge with our 3 star bar. Let's do this, let's look at the mediators, 10 extra HP, 1 extra uh, card one extra mana in their hand of course each round the first time it dies comes back to the basically turn to maze power from touch path and of course games out the full summons a hex core foundry so i've tried this path a couple of times with morgan and two star morgan is just too weak this path and the other three star path of the weekly challenge it's just that morgan i can't keep up with whatever's happening could be because she's low level but it just feels weird this feels super weak stalling the game with shackles don't really help that much when this much of value is coming on the board from random places Go with a mini morph. Anything that is buffed will get random two keywords. So you want to play the ones with buffed staff line. This one. Mama's home. Cut them. Does it get stats? No, because it technically doesn't die. It comes back to life, so it doesn't really get anything. Plus 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 one. Or whatever it gets killed comes back to life Let's this one. this is gonna be a difficult fight dies comes back to life this one at least parma dies yeah, we just need life still somewhere and we'll be fine we can play yeah uh, Yep, playing uh, Bard will be a bad idea. Let's just play small units across the board. And hopefully get Yeah along the way. Does that thing called Lifesteal? There's no point attacking with everything other than that one because it comes back to life. So this one's elusive, so... Pretty good. Yeah, we just need Lifesteal. This deck has a lot of ways to do Lifesteal. Get life sting running. Supposed to level up. Still burn, right? Play part. One. So this dies, so there's nothing that can be done. So might as well put it in front of someone who does who is capable of blocking. Still from this point onward, everything else dies. This dies and everything else actually dies. The part levels up. Oh, the level up increase thing actually counts. Super. This one. Finally, an audience with taste. Next. Grand challenge counter plan. Off everything. Absorbs the thing, gets the keyword, can't be blocked now. Super. Yeah, 3 star versus a 3 star, now it's more stable. Man, playing this path with Morgana, holy shit. 2 star, even 2 star was struggling by the way. I think I'll play, try her with other paths and other things and then figure it out how to play with her properly. Every round we are just gonna do this.
Like, oh, they can do whatever they want. Only one life steal on a big unit or only one life steal on anybody will seal the deal because I will be able to absorb it with a uh, bard and just keep the game running. So the first unit needs to be killed always. Okay. So let's kill it with the least here possible, then start blocking the other. Uh, it's fine. This is fine. Dies and everyone else actually dies. You understand to be actually be able to kill these things. Holy shit, you need to your squad has to be like super powered. Play buff. I'm just looking for which one is overall. Doesn't actually matter which one is overall. Just attack with everything. Yeah, this 25 cannot be blocked. And it's quite bad. We did, like you see how unlucky we were that out of every keyword, new keyword, random keyword, we didn't get life steal. But it's fine. Once we get life steal, we'll just go back to full. Yeah, corrupted star strategy of bard is pretty nuts. I'll take this one. Elusive one. Can go wrong with elusive cards. Okay, something small. Nab is not something that I want. My hand is stuffy as it is. I definitely. LB. LB is a very strong support squad. Uh, item spell. Go on. Let's go to item. Item is easier. You don't have to invest anything. It will be with a unit and you don't actually have to worry about it. Spells, however, you have to cast it with mana. Go with this one though. You're not worried about this one. If it was a boss fight, I would keep it because it goes down by one every round. Okay. Increased stat line should be played first. Anything that's increased stat line. So this one gets more priority, even though there is a loss of one. Can't really attack into that. Oh, I could have. It's deathless. Okay. Now it will be. Now it will get priority. Now it will get priority. Yeah. Okay, just play this one now. It's faded, but vulnerable. Okay, that means she is dying. Pulled by this and dies. If that is the case, then I can take the trade here. Yeah. This one will die though. This one will die. Come back to life. This one will parma die. Oh, it has deathless as well. Nice. Ah, Bard now gets deathless. Super. There we go. Life steal. Now we just need Bard. LP. You play the buffed LP version. The best lies are beautiful. Ta-da! What we do is we do swing. Yeah, so what we do is we do this here. This dies and comes back to life. This Parma dies. So this is a couple of things that you need in Trendemir type fights. Trendemir fight power is probably one of the most problematic powers to play around. Uh, because you can't do much, uh, much things anyways. Don't give Bart now. He's gonna get burned. Sorry. Let's play cheap some cheap stuff. Uh, buff stat line, this one. You need a buff stat line for the power to FA. Anything that is boosted will get two random keywords. Anything that stat line is boosted, that is. Vulnerable in that one. As for next. Too big of a unit. Let's at least take a strike here. So the others make a difference. Yeah. Dies. So this one, this one dies. We go next. We wait for something to get buffed in the hand. Then we play it. Okay. Now we can play this one. Gets random keyword, play this one, gets random keyword. Play this one, gets random keyword. I'm a copy of this. I think I should have taken the... Uh, I need fear someone I just picking. Yeah, fear someone would have been much better in my opinion. Okay, anyways, it's fine. Let's play this one. There's only one damage going through is this one. And after this one, you want to strike with this LB. 
so that it kills something and then the others actually die it dies but it would have died anyways it's actually pretty nuts that we're controlling this thing keep a space open eight cards we can draw two the hexer foundry is also pretty painful we're burning cards you just need bard oh, bard but this one now it's fine we'll just play this one have five mana open to play this one pass okay very simple ah uh, oops oh wait wrong one kill this one they block this one just two will die okay this one will okay so this one will die Uh, do you have space? Nine. We won't have space. Due to that reason, we'll just do this. Seeing double. So that we have eight cards so we don't burn anything. Because we have a chance of burning Bard. I don't want to burn Bard. Don't want to burn Bard. Oh, Deathless comes back to life. That's one. That's two. No Bard. Okay, same drill. No. LB. Okay. Not LB. Yeah, LB strikes first because she has quick attack. And the rest of them attack like this. There we go. One damage short. It's fine. We have enough. Yeah, this does damage to anything. So, so we just finish them off. There we go. Super. Yeah, this was a little unlucky. The fact that we didn't get barred. It's fine. LB is a very strong support. LB and Diego are the best. One of the strongest supports. Strongest supports because they work well. I think Z is also pretty good. Medulla, obviously. Meduli. Medulla. Item spells, item will get more priority. Easier. Just attach it to somebody. Plus one, plus one, plus death, plus. Quick attack. Uh, plus one, plus one, plus death, plus. I'll take draw now. Hexer Foundry, we don't need more draws. And uh, Elusive doesn't really need quick attack. Give it to my yeah, dude. He's gonna die, come back to life, and gonna put more ch uh, chimes in the deck. That's pretty nice. Okay, I like this. Okay, anything that is stat is boosted, we keep it. We'll keep the bard because we didn't get bard last game, right? That's nice. But they're attacking. Oh, we have double here. Did this one? Did this one? Super, actually. How much mana is that? Okay. Definitely pay LB because Time I have a pull. Deathless here. What do we got here? Do this. Dice comes back to life. We le uh, level up LB. Oh wait, the challenger one didn't have deathless. The other one had deathless. It's fine. It's still worth it though. Two mana, five, four, five. I helped build this empire. Okay, in that case, we can, it comes back to life, so that's bad. Get this one. So some trash. Be four here. Oh. There's no point blocking, by the way, because it comes back to life. But we can do this. Comes back to life, actually dies. Ah, uh, play this one. This mama is the beast mama. Can we get? Uh, you can. We can't play Bard until one chime hits Bard. At least one chime hits Bard. Now we can play this Bard. Super. Anyone hurt? <laughs> we'll just do this. Can't attack with this one because it will die and come back to life. But we can attack with Bard because Bard is gonna get elusive. It consumes something on the right permanently, and uses the keyword. So that's pretty good. Okay, our bloody business are two mana. This is ex ex excellent because now we can kill before we block. Yeah. Okay, stun. Don't really care. Split this one. I forgot our loot. We'll have to improvise. 
What do we got here? Okay. Let, them let them grow. Come on, boys. Pretty nice. Okay. Now we let's do our thing. Nice, nice. Okay. What we do is this. This comes back to our dice. Dice, dice. Oh shit, it happened in the opposite way. Okay. I wanted to do it the opposite way. <laughs> I wanted to kill that one and then kill this one. Next. I think we auto win if we swing. True, but you never know. It's safer if you play with the spell chill one. Because they can do this, yeah. It's fine. Now we just win. Just attack with Bard, do this, and swing. Just whatever gets stat increase is gonna get absorbed by Bard if this is the one the stat increases. And I I wanted to consume it so that it's an elusive spell shield. It cannot be blocked. To whatever is on the other side. But they use all their mana, so that's fine. It was inevitable. Very nice, very nice. Okay. It's going so much better. Good dude has a rally, I'll take it. Okay, shop will get priority. Uh server may ally get plus one plus one. Is it that that good one? Not really that great in my opinion. Nab is horrible. It's horrible. Okay. I will skip then. One mana I always like keeping for backup things. I really like any of them. Uh this kind of get get when one of your more to activate plan two of it in your deck instead. Okay, I'll take this one. A couple of them. Because it has stat increase, so it will have double keywords as it is. Okay. Let's go to the shop, not buy anything, it's fine. And face up against Fiora. Damn. Comes back to life, Fiora. Oh, man. Problematic power. But we're stunned for days, so that's that. I like the entire hand. Our attacking turn. Play this one. Okay. And play this one. I don't want to do anything. This will put continuous chimes as time as many we hit. Yeah. Hit one. He plans two. That's pretty nice. They are already here. Uh, I'm gonna pass. See what they do. This will be a very dangerous fight. Very tricky fight to be exact. Uh, uh, let's just put this one. It's not because it's difficult. It's because hitting, killing Fiora is another challenge. Going back to life is another problem as, as a whole. Uh, let's do this. Blades for my day. Does Bart go? 9 12. New recruit reporting in. I'm just gonna take the entire hit but keep Bart alive. I just need stun here. There we go. That's what I wanted. Soldiers, come in. Okay. It's fine by me. Nah, it's not fine by me. Ah, uh, deal two stun this. Like we need to stall from leveling, from him, from her leveling up. Stun seven. Who got it? The barb leveled up. Oh yeah, I forgot. This deck has mini morph in it. Forgot about minimum completely. Okay, okay, play moduli. Cataclysm. Yeah, that's that's one of the more painful things to deal with. She will not die. She will come back to life, and after four kills, she levels up. So that's another pain, dude. If you think about it. <laughs> Two down. So right now the only way we deal with it if 
If they block it with Kyura, which they won't, they will block it with this. They're not even blocked. Okay. Two more kills and she wins. It's problematic. Bloody, okay, that bloody, bloody business now. But we can't save us. If you play it right, that is. The finest blades for my okay. I need only one to win. Yes. Ten. Suddenly we're in driving seat right now. Okay. Your move. Interesting. Fifty. So what we do is do this. Oh, nah, nah. He doesn't. It doesn't help, does it? Nope. It doesn't help. The barrier goes away, but you can't really do anything. Twelve damage to face. I'll take it then. So what we want to do is biggest stat line on the board for four mana is which one? This one. Heal for three. We swing, absorb, um, yeah, and finish them off. We do this, pull like this, and finish it off. Directly kill them. They can't really do anything. It doesn't matter. Oh, this was a very tricky fight. Very, very tricky fight. Yeah, insanely tricky fight. One wrong move and we would die. We'd be dead. Can be killed on Fiora. Yikes. That wasn't problematic. I don't know what is. The support ally on Bard is pointless. He absorbs it, so it's actually not that bad. He gets one more extra stat line. I'll give it to my LB. Very nice. The 1-1 one, one pl plus that might give it the... Nah, it won't. It, because you have to do it on hand. Okay. I'll take a reroll. I don't like any of them. Chrono Break seems hilarious. I'll take Chrono Break. Minus 1 on enemies is also not that bad if you think about it. I'll take it. Considering they come back to life, minus 1 is actually not that bad. Heal is something that I don't really care. Scraps of Sorrow. Damn, I'll go to Scraps of Sorrow. I can play Bard on turn 1. Boom ba boom. Okay. Uh, throw these away. This is the only st uh, increased stat so that double keyword will apply. Anything that is green on it are buffed, and when you play a buffed ally, it gets random two keywords. So you always want to play buff units on the board. Here, attacking turn. Uh, see, the minus one actually goes a long way. Uh, it doesn't really help that much. Bard. Okay, we we'll play this one. We can attack with the elusive one. They don't have any elusive. The Hexcore Foundry is making it a super bloggy. I spell shield. I buff bard. Got deathless. Super. They always hide, and we always find them. First kill here. Heroic Everything else from this point now dies. Super. Okay. Burns. Burn. Okay. These are not buffed. This is. Did this one? And what you want to do? Yeah, not level. So you want to attack with this dice first, and we get to attack again. When this dies, you get to attack again. Self rally, so it dies as well. Fine by me. Dice comes back to life and gives us a rally. This dice gives us a rally, comes back to life. Okay, the death, yeah, doesn't work like the deathless. I thought it does. 
Okay, now we can uh, kill stuff when we attack. But I'm gonna give it to my uh, bard. Yeah, I'm just gonna give absorb LB. It's just better to have one big unit holding the ground down. <laughs> Elusive, deathless. Yeah, this is actually a nice card. Because hit him chimes is not at all difficult. The life steals there. Activate more chimes. This thing is pretty hilarious. Have a mini morph building up. Swing should finish them off. Super. Rally. This is actually a pretty nice way to do it. Absorb it and then rally again. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, f playing with Bard 3 star and Morgana's 2, two star is night and day difference. Playstyle is so different. Man, I was struggling so hard with Morgana. Okay. Temporary always. Triple crystal. Can't buy another one or I will, else would have. But now we start with four, 5 mana on turn 1. So that's pretty good. Okay. Grand the top ally. Plus 1, plus 1. Because this is nuts. Because now all my champion spell is going to be like this. It will have always have this attachment. So that's very nice. Lookout, I don't really like that much. I don't want, I don't want to use my board space up like that as it is. Uh, I'll skip along. It's fine. Okay. Red fight. Obviously, we're going to go for the red fight. If, we, if it wasn't already difficult enough, we are taking double year. They have two extra mana and two extra card in their hand now. But we are starting on turn five. So that's like definitely don't want to play anything that's not buffed buff buff that's pretty good you can play bard on turn one now oh target speed Super. first we'll do this one second will be this one third will be this one So you can see already the setup is starting and this makes a very big difference being able to do whatever we just did on turn one oh maduli zero mana maduli okay let's play this one first spell shit on that dude this one and then play maduli Okay, so we need to kill that one, so this can be killed. Guys, comes back to life. This Parma die. Gonna play a part. This part, the buff part. Replace this one. Then replace this one. Attack absorb this one and attack like this. Uh, do it like this. This dies gives us rally then we swing again. This guy sitting on the board is actually quite hilarious. We get rally again. We swing. It gets absorbed, we get rally again. This actually dies this time. And he doubles the year again. And we swing again. This is absolutely naughty, dude, what we just did. Yeah, our chime dude, I call him the chime dude, the one mana chime dude. He's always been the MVP of this squad. Okay, be good. 
feeling that from fine by us. Just play another one. And pop everything. Thirteen. Super. Elusive, elusive, elusive. Elusive, elusive, elusive. A triple elusive. It's raining giants. I like the fact that even if the card gets burned, at least it gives you the chime before it does that. 62. I don't think that can be blocked in any way. Too many elusives. Yeah, for some weird reason, I'm not getting lifestyle as much as I would want it to get. Mainly elusives no longer. Right? Pretty good. And this was a red path right here. I mean, Targon speak hit good cards for us. On oh, rally every round. Or take rally every round. Not rally every round, rally. Rallying with Bard is pretty nice. Pretty cost cost one less. I'll take creative cost cost one less, pretty nice. Nuts to be exact. Oh, uh, heal for full because, I mean, <laughs> we didn't heal for anything, but it's fine. Cutting a card is also not the worst. I'll cut this one. Nab is not the greatest. I'm okay, the, the three star or uh, Caitlyn path, the weak challenge. Should be a problematic fight because Caitlyn is a difficult fight as it is. So three star would be a good challenge. We always keep the buff stat line. Throw away everything else. We didn't get any buff stat line. All the, nothing, no buff stat line, and we can't technically play anything properly. Okay, let's see what they do first. Okay, so that's gonna come back to life. There's nothing we can do. I might as well just start ripping prank then. In that case. Upgrade cost bump on the screen. Uh, increase the cost of that. Uh, I'll keep the man and go next. I can stun Caitlyn if I need to. And then my dude might die to a splash from me. I was thinking about that. Turn two already took three damage. Uh, yeah, but if playing him is a problem. If he dies next time, lose a, lose a rally for nothing. Look at this guy. Just keeping the peace. Let's investigate. Let them just tag. It's fine. We have, to, we have to endure a little hit at the start. I can't play this guy because he might die to the uh, flash bomb this turn. He yeah, already leveled up. Can't really do anything. Everything's working against us in this turn. This game. This round, I mean. We can see no buff. The buffs we got are people who we can't technically play. That's quite unfortunate. Lucy on him. Dying. Just rally. Doesn't really help us. Can't really do anything. Yeah, I think this is a loss because we are not getting anything. Look at this three maduli that we can't technically play, and the other cards are not buffed. And our chime dude is not helping us at all. He comes back to life. No, he doesn't. Suspicious activity detected yeah. just outside the station. You're super hand. Yeah, super clogged. I don't know what's happening, dude. Super unfair. Can't even play. You can't even do anything. Let's block. Beast. I can't. I can't. I can't block it like this. Though. I have to keep a, a higher HP unit so that it doesn't die to flash bombs. I don't even have how many yeah do I have? Why can't I see my yeah? Times 14. Might as well just play a big dude. Finding details is my duty. 
We can't technically attack with this one because uh, they're gonna block with Caitlyn. Caitlyn's gonna die, come back to life, and gonna take damage for nothing. Yeah, we're gonna take full damage for nothing. Can't technically attack like that. Can't even let them swing also. Arts here. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on him. Backup's on the way. Cheap for stat, this guy. Ready to roll. Dice comes back to life. This one more dice. 14. We might actually just get killed from something coming at us. Technically kill us yet. Playing bar doesn't help. Okay, but keeping playing LB does. So our HP is a little bit higher than then keep killing us with was that thing? Mystic shot. We just need one good life steal, dude. Killed everything. That's fine. LP is here. Life steal. Life steal. Life steal. Life steal. on the trail. Oh, I have to play Bard. Absorbs it, but they're just gonna block with uh, Caitlyn, and we'll take too much damage. Manners. See, they block it, we take damage, it comes back to life. I think we it, it, this was not like this. We just got super unlucky there. Yeah, nothing worked in our favor. Like nothing. If these things are happening so late. It's nuts. It's absolutely nuts that these things are happening so late. We need life steal. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. We didn't okay, we finally got life steal, dude. And she they targeted it. So yeah, even if we if we block it doesn't matter. Caitlin's hitting for a lone five, so we lose. Nothing can be done. So this is just super unlucky, yeah. Like for, imagine we have five extra mana and we got nothing. We got three Maduli in our hand. We got which we couldn't play. Yeah. Super unlucky. And this is gonna get even worse. We'll have only 15 HP to start with again. Damn. Yeah, this is super unlucky, dude. Yeah, we played the entire path so well. We got effed in the last fight. Man. Imagine scribes of sorrow and you don't have enough mana. It's away. Same drill as before. With the low low HP this time. Okay, we got this. We got this dude this time. And we got a stun at least on our side. But yeah, as well. Super. So, um, let's split this guy. Hard. Don't kill them. Oh no, he killed him. But he comes back to life, so that's good. I think. Why, where does Deathless go? Why didn't he? Why doesn't he stay? I mean, he's Deathless, but he goes away. Vanishes, I mean. Anything on the board is so on super liability as well. Uh, this one. Uh, we'll take six damage, it's fine. But this one. I mean, it's zero mana, so. This next attacking turn, we'll have a. Uh, yeah, coming in. Stun. We didn't take any damage. Okay, I'm not gonna land randomly draw shit this time. Okay, they lifesteal. That's all we needed. Absolutely perfect, bro. Ah, dude, elusive life still. Now we can stay in the game. We don't want to draw. We don't want to draw. Because there are flash rooms in the deck. And you have a stun as well to hold down Caitlyn this time. Yeah, everything is at least work. Uh, not everything, at least it's working way better for us. Suspicious activity detected just outside the station. Stay on him. Backup's on the way. That should level up Caitlyn, yeah. Closing in on the mark. No backup needed. Okay. It's alright. We'll play our dude and have stun ready. Yeah. Play our dude, uh, stun, stun ready. Okay. 
So what you want to do is heal to it, it will die. But main idea is to like stun Gatelyn. Okay, so this dice comes back to life. Gatelyn gets stunned and everything else will actually die from this point onwards. This. Leveled up. Now we have life steal as well, hit as well. Everything coming from our set now. Back to full. Okay. The flash bombs hit first. Play our this dude. Okay. Um, increase everything by one. It's actually risky because flash bombs can hit this guy. this absolves hit we get rally we hit again yeah. there we go as, you, as, I, as I was saying right that everything was not working in our favor last round but everything worked in our favor this game and imagine losing after coming this far and playing so decent yeah we played pretty well along the way and Bard did Bard got super railroaded the last fight yeah it's fine we got him we lose yeah we can't really do okay the three star uh get in path the weekly challenge down with our three star bard let's see what we get should be an a we effed up along the way okay yes sucker. i'll take it this guy has always been the mvp, MVP for bard i call him the chime dude anyways so champion achievement power decision time this is our mvp the bard dude is a pickaxe uh immortal and of course rally uh whenever you play anything that is buffed and you'll understand buff by because it having green stat you will get uh that unit will get random to keywords so this guy is the cheapest random keywords you can get so plus uh, one mana five one and puts chimes in the deck so that's pretty nice let's look at the powers okay your creative cards cost one less pretty nice it always works pretty well with us because we have a lot of creative cards in the deck oh not a lot of gear because uh, bard has an attachment of grand general's counter plan gears a champion of himself means a copy of himself and it costs three mana but because creative cost costs one less it costs two mana so that's pretty nice you draw two cards and you buff everything on the board i think based on how many times on the on the, the on that drawn card so that's pretty nice it's a good combo and uh cards cost one less is pretty nice works well with that okay next power is the uh, temporary mana, uh, mana crystal that you get and round one three of them at the scribes of sorrow power i love it absolutely wonderful to set up on turn one it's pretty good of course next one is disarm enemies get minus one it's pretty good good it's okay it's not game breaking but it helped out a couple of it, it basically reduces the damage coming in from the enemy's side so that's pretty good when you summon ally uh, granted fury it's it's pretty good because people get random keywords if fury is already on the unit because you already have the power it means that uh, out of the two random keywords, Fury will never be that because Fury is already inbuilt in your cards because of this one. That's pretty nice. The odds of getting lifesteal and elusive will increase a little bit, but nevertheless, pretty good. This is the uh, Bard's three star power. When you summon an ally with buff stats, the green one, grant it random two keywords. Elusive and lifesteal win you the game. Can win you the game. So that's pretty nice. This is uh, Bard's two star power. If game sets, you get one extra mana. And when you draw a card with chimes on it, plant a chime in your deck. So the more chime you get, more chimes are put into the deck. It's pretty nice. And of course, game start, heal your nexus for four. And of course, champion level 20 power. Uh, game start, draw champion, not specifically Bard. Any champion in your deck, you get a free draw. That's about it. Okay, so this is the three star Victor pad. Uh, Victor, Viego pad. The weekly challenge with our three star Vigar. Let's do this. Yeah. I tried this pad three to four times with Morgana two star. I just can't beat this pad. This pad path is just brutal on Morgana. So I'm bringing in one of my biggest guns, bigger because I'm super pissed and annoyed by how many times I died. This path is a little painful. I'm not gonna lie. Let's look at the powers. Game start. The four gets an extra uh, mana gem, as you can understand. They always have one extra mana, <laughs> and you will feel it. Why that's problematic? And of course, when an ally plays a spell, they copy it on the center card to Vegar because I'm gonna nuke the hell out of it. Every darkness we play is gonna be casted twice. Okay. Give the weakest enemy vulnerable. When you summon an again, random keyword. Um, I'll give random keyword. Not like we care about um it getting um a random keyword because we'll be nuking everybody with spells, but it's fine. Okay. We want to this. Made 
Okay, they are attacking. We want to let them attack first, right? Yeah. Kill it. Every, every spell we cast is casted twice. That's the reason why I took Vagar. I'm done losing in this bad dude. Give me your <laughs> cannot two star. Holy shit, man. GP? Parley did 26 damage. How stupid is that, dude? Can't do anything against that deck. Yeah. Get this one. Honorable. Let's see what's in their hand. There's a cost of that one. Use the cost even one more. Nuke it. Okay, I should have played this one first. Did this one? Yeah, I know I'm gonna beat the shit out of them because it's Vega. But damn it! But damn it! But I don't really care, dude. After losing three times, I'm losing my marbles more than anything. It was unbearable, dude. This Morgana can't do anything, actually. To my Vega. For next. Just nuke them, dude. Yeah, the, the, it feels like the way you beat these type of pets is having something that is zero mana. That's the biggest value you can get. Because doing it without that is just painful. Okay, he dies, but he comes back to life. It's fine. He levels up, so he technically doesn't die because he gets five basically. That saved him, right? Does this does five? He has guardian angels. So he comes back to life even if he dies. Uh, we lower. Actually, there was no point of lowering the cost. It's fine. So every time we play a spell, it's casted twice. So this is gonna be casted twice. There we go. Let's go. Let's finish this path fast too. Get me out of this nightmare, man. The GP fight. I took 26 damage from one parlay. If that is not BS, I don't know what is. Yeah, Morgan, I can't block stuff, target stuff. Can't really do anything. Uh, Ezreal's just weird. Uh, I don't really like that. Uh, I don't really like that. Uh, I'll take this one. Refill your spell mana. <laughs> For one mana. Fine, I'll take it. <laughs> it's not the greatest one, but fine, I'll take it. Uh... Oh, you can use it. I'll take it. Use it with Kindred, I guess. Healer shop. Ball chest. We're gonna go for the healer side. <clears throat> when you play a path with weak champions, that's when you understand how hard the path is. Obviously, doing it with is nothing because I'm just beating everything up. Okay. Split this one. Get a... Yeah, Frank. And he hopefully hit that in the hand. Lucky find. Oh. Uh, we'll use this one. Increase the cost of that one. Because every spell is casted twice. So they will actually ha be able to summon two sand chargers. But now they have to do it for four mana. That's funny. As you can see why this path is a little dangerous. For anybody else. Even, even with Vegar, You can get a lot of control. Like units can go in the stats of 15 very easily. Super fast. Uh, because the cost of thing doesn't really make a difference for us. I played that one so I can double cast and increase the cost to four. Quick attack. As you can see, why is this pet so painful? Double cast it. Double cast it. Like, can you imagine facing this type of things for a two-star power that's not even stable? It's actually nice. Comes back to life and gives me another one. Deathless. <laughs> Serves you right. I'm gonna play Vega anyway, so might as well just attack. So you do more damage to face and Vega levels up, I think. Almost. Mm. Vega's guardian angel, so doesn't matter even if he gets killed. He comes back to life. Not deathless way, but. They told me to keep this one. There we go. 
This will level up up. Challenges. So Vega is dying next turn. If that is a kill, might as well go it against against that dude. Oh, he didn't level up? I thought he did. Oh, because wait, wait, how much are my years are doing? We play uh, Kindred first on the board. Never mind. Even with Vegar, we are in a bad spot. Oh, they're not pulling Vegar. Interesting. Damn, that's too much damage going in. Interesting. Okay. We will do this. this. Vega dies comes back to life, so it's all right. Here dies. Yeah, okay. Die. And just nuke the face. The reason why I nuke the face is because by the next round they attack, they'll be dead. We'll have enough darknesses coming in. Hit phase double, play this, hit phase double, finish them off. But can you imagine that even Vega took 14 damage in a path? This path is not at all going to be easy, regardless of who you do it with. Just Vega being broken as it is. And this this weekly challenge is one of the toughest three-star fights I have done in a while. Or I'm just bad. Or I'm just bad. <laughs> or I'm just super bad, dude. Oh my god, 14 damage on Vegar. Insane. Go to shop. Black market. Yeah, I can play Vegar faster on the board. Don't really need anything else. Yeah. Don't like this one. It's an aggro squad. This one is also pretty horrible. Okay, let's go check this one out. The reason why I said this one horrible, this fight took me 15 minutes to finish because it was not absorbing my mana non stop. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't go past turn 4 for like 10 minutes. Put these away. Uh, keep this guy. Extra mana, go Extra mana goes a long way. Oh, hello there. Okay, so pass and see what they Sure is dark, eh? Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Ah oh, man, I could have actually done it. Yeah, I could have. If I lose this path with Vegar, I swear. This one up because. Oh, heck. I mean, I know that for a fact that this this fight is like this. They do this in turn one, they do lose all of their cards and they can't really do anything after this point, this turn. But nevertheless, it's still painful. See what they do. I'm okay with passing it. I will have enough mana for yeah, this one. Does death follow me or peace? Question, what do I do then? Okay, she has, she has Guardian Angel. Kill. There we go. Interesting. This darkness is damage is going up. Uh, okay. first. Then we play this because it gives us one extra mana. We uh, you always want to play any anything that skips turns in terms of giving you mana and stuff. This gives us one extra mana. This one gives one extra mana. One extra draw. Definitely kill that one. I have to do it with this one. I can just do Pokey. Okay. 
Okay, guy is about to level up. So they will strike. I'm just gonna do this. Levels up, we will swing and finish them off next turn. Yeah, this this fight, the only first problem is turn one. If this fight the if they have the attack token on turn one, you're gonna you're gonna always take massive hits. And there's nothing you can do. They play six units on turn one. What what will you do? There we go. This goes in and we'll just throw the darkness of this. Oh my god. Second fight with Vega I took 14 damage. <laughs> no. Actually, if someone needs to tell me, whom did you beat this path with without Vega or someone else? Last bit, Rally. Rally doesn't make a difference to us. I'll take a one mana spider. A free bo extra body on the board. It sucks. There's no point going for that one. I have another form of sentinels. I'll take it. Sentinels. And the form of darkness. I'll take it. A reroll here. Go on my match. I don't really need that. I'll come here and go for a... F oh my god, dude. I'm about to lose against GP now. Oh, dude. I'm at 40. I'm not even at 30. Whatever. 16 damage. Yeah, this is where I lost. And for obvious reasons, this fight is absolutely broken. If you can't kill the barrels, the barrels hit for a ton. ton. Like, it hits for a track. Dude, I took a parlay hit of 26 to face. I'm like, dude, what am I supposed to do? Morgan doesn't have targeted spells, so you can't even kill barrels at burst speed or fast speed. I'm gonna keep my darkness for to deal with the barrels, basically. Right off the bat, I take 3 damage. Can't really do anything about that. Get out of my way. So this is the turn with it to play GP. So we'll just play this. There we go. space cast it twice so even if i played this once nah you know yeah kindred will die regardless of what you do yeah one damage and then it would have killed him so the trick so this is the thing that you have to keep something alive to deal with the uh darknesses uh the, the barrels or the barrels grow too much Take this one out. At least this is this is thing. I took 26 damage like this. Bullshit. I'm just doing this so I take less damage. That's it. 26 damage from one parlay because they are tra this is the tougher GB fight by the way. Trade Bay gets summoned on onto the board. Morgana can't deal with Trade Bay. Morgana can't even target anything because you just sit and take damage. You can't really do much. Uh, that was painful. Three losses. Holy shit. It's been a while. <laughs> it was, it's I lost one. Let alone three. Okay. It's the cause of that one. Oops. Oops. This they do this. You kill me, but I kill myself. No damage done. This. Self sacrifice. Let's do this then. They do that, I'll do that. I will kill everything. Everything, dude. I've lost enough. I've lost so much. <laughs> I just want to finish this path, dude. Uh this one? Work the fabric, minions. Work it. Uh play this one. There is light yet within me. Same drill before. Oh shit, you can use your. See, even if you can't really. I, I got hit by two of these and I died. From like, I don't know how, 25 HP. 
because of the random Mia coming in every turn. What are these things, dude? Yeah, might as well use them. Oh, it's the Titanic thing, right? They're so bad, yeah. <laughs> they are not gonna let me do anything. Forget playing a Titanic unit, dude. Ah, that's how they play. I'm okay with that. Let's do this. I'm, I think I killed half of my own units but then more than theirs. Fine, they only have Riptide Rex now. Redway is coming now, right? Yeah, under 20 means Redway is coming. Yeah, Redway is coming. Now everything we they do, they do it twice. So the rule is just kill him fast, and that's the thing. Nobody can do it faster than Vega. Insta gone. Get out of the way. Do this with Morgana. Morgana will cry and leave a river. Can't do shit. Yeah, just take them out. I have to fight two way <laughs> tradeways on the board. Oh, just need him. There we go. Nothing to do. Hey, yeah, you would have killed Vega as well. Oh, uh, we'll just play our two. We'll take our time. We don't actually rush. Because we know that these things are coming in as well. Anyway. Kill killing our units aren't just gonna kill their defenders. Because they should have hit face and play. Yeah. Riptide Rex. Oh, I should have just hit phase. What am I doing? Yeah. This was so stupid. I didn't even see that I have a leveled up Vega. I should have just gone for phase. That was like a uh, 16 damage missed from spell. It's fine. We got them anyways. But yeah, that was a mistake. We should have just gone for phase. Like, I didn't actually notice that I had a level up Vega. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. It's halfway done. Oh, uh, scout on, yeah, it's pretty good. But we deathless on our Vega. 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 Let's go to top power. Extra mana gem. We'll, we'll go a long way. Oh, uh, obviously, red path. Oh, man, we finally got the checkpoint. This is the furthest I've gone in this path this week. Mm, one extra mana so I can play this guy fast. Uh, I don't need too much draw. I don't need this as well. These two are fine. Looking for Vegar. There we go. I play this, I can play this next turn. Vegar next turn, I mean. Play this guy because we will get one extra mana and this guy is gonna give us one extra mana. Uh, I don't have to do anything. No point trying to challenge something that I don't need to challenge. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice this one. It gives us one extra mana. Uh, hit, hit. Then hit, hit. If a unit dies, the second one doesn't cast. So it's not like every time you cast, you're gonna have an exact damage. See, you have only four. Because that dude has three HP. Uh, we'll play our Kindred. So, kill this one. We oh, just deck on him. He's gonna mark that one. And we can kill with this one. We're gonna block it like this, yeah. But it's fine. We got elusive damage in. So next. Darkness is gonna keep coming in and Kindred is gonna keep on growing. Kill this one. Double kill this with good part. And for next point, I'm just gonna th start throwing the stuff in the face. We're doing 10 damage to face every turn at burst speed. Never mind, not even next turn, this turn. There is light yet. You got 
Definitely to kill it. Fine by us. Oh, I should have fired the darkness so that the deathless are coming back would give me another darkness. Yeah, did this. Okay, never mind. Eight damage. Just do this. This becomes a fearsome. That girl can't block him. Oh, yeah, of course. Level up and yeah, can be counted twice. You can mark two things at one turn. Fine. You pull it like this to maximize the damage. And we darkness face and finish them off. Enough. Enough, dude. Get me out of this nightmare. <laughs> Yeah, holy shit. Painful. Dude. Dude. Okay. Right, from a copy of. Very nice. Barrier, double barrier units on the board. Or 1 1 lockers. Two extra draw in the card. In the start. What is wrong when you do it? Uh, take this one, I guess. Wait, is it the hex card found in? Nah, it's the other one. Yeah. It's fine. Two extra draw will won't be problematic for us. See our power trust and the strongest. Take it, dude. I said you want already were pretty nuts. Take more of the barrel. Any form of darkness coming into the hand is pretty good. We're right side. Okay. So we're gonna get about 130 something. So you have enough to buy the rare attachment. Mage Seeker should be a fun one. Because she can they can triple increase the stat line. They already have a spell that double increases. Now it will go to triple increase the stat line. But we'll just save our thing and nuke them. this one take a look at this I'll pass control the mages keep the uh I'll do this my call uh I'll pass for next Burning now. Um, oh, I could play bigger. I don't think I get a darkness yet. I don't get a dark. This is the most problematic one. Uh, you get a check to see what's in the This is the one. They will triple their stat line if you're not careful. You increase it even more. Blow it up. Get this one. So they can't attack technically. Makes it awkward for them to attack. This will triple because every spell is casted twice, so they can triple their stat when you're not careful. So what we want to do is split this. Let them triple their stat line, and when they try to triple their stat line, that's when I'll attack and take it out. And they have capture on their side. Uh, we don't need more draws. So let's just take that one out. Take this one out. You only do damage equivalent to the HP. This will cast. Or this will cast. Okay. Um, uh, the girl. I am here until I am no oh, next. Oh, I should have attacked. What am I doing? Why did it pass? No. Definitely should have attacked. Okay. These are the, my god. These spells. Worse ones to get duplicated. Holy shit. Can you imagine getting like one of those dragons and dragons and shit? Start nuking quick. Okay. I'll definitely block. Uh, Okay, this car this will gotta get a spider out of it. Let's do this. Double nuke, um uh, that will get stunned with full swing, then uh nuke face again. There we go. One damage short, darkness will finish them off. There we go. Oh my god, dude. 
Yeah, it feels like the first couple of fights are difficult. The rest of them are pretty manageable. It could be the attachments and powers are making it easy. The first couple of fights were insane, dude. Uh, ooh, man, Karma, I'll take it. A triple my triple do triple damage across the board. I don't need to buy that power. Audible. Uh, I don't need to buy anything. Can we like cut anything? Nope. Uh take a cut here, I guess. Come on. Who is the most useless one here? Yeah, I'll throw this away anyway. A scout on a unit that is uh, low HP doesn't really make that make that big of a difference. Anyways, the three star Diego fight the weekly challenge. I tried this path with Morgana thrice. I couldn't even make it to halfway, and Vega I made it to final. Obviously, Vega is a big boy, one of my new curse big boy champions. Okay, put these away. I'll keep one of them for a free blocker, double blocker for one man is pretty nice. Uh, Conchologist should be nice. That's also pretty good. The Conchologist to get a spell. Oh, I should have taken the Landmark Destroy, by the way, because they have that Virgo reviving thing coming in. Double hit them. He'll take it out. And go next. I don't want to swing into an Infirmary unit. Right, we'll just endure a little bit of hit coming in. Okay, double train. Figar still survives. He has Deathless as well as he has Guardian Angel. This is Guardian Angel. Then when he comes he dies, he's gonna come back to life as Deathless Deathless. Let's take it out. Um, uh, with this too. The tall tree, the tallest tree. Yes, Take our hero out. Yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, kill it with this spell. And swing in, I guess. And have another darkness ready. I think I should have played this guy first. No, no, no. I had a darkness in hand. Super. The darkness that we get is different from this, or this cost goes down to zero. Oh, is it different from that? That's the reason why I wanted to break the landmark. Yes. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> How much damage am I doing? Uh, I did 24 damage from just firing the darknesses. Let's go next. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, I, I'm absolutely... Wouldn't say furious, it's more like annoyed at how hard I tried with Morgana. I just couldn't beat this path. Just super difficult with Morgana. Super weird. Okay, the three-star Vega path done with our three-star Vega. Finally after two hours or three hours let's let's see what we get as yes, okay champion champion part at the same time so our big boy Vegar is default attachment which is the default attachment the attachment i use is archangel staff uh, refill your spell mind in round end guardian angel when he dies he comes back to life with one hp and of course last chapter when you play him he refills the mana and of course then gave him deathless he will never die when he comes on the board he will be there forever forever okay uh, let's look at the powers oh Around stars on the strongest enemy, I consider it to be the strongest power in the game. Pretty insane. Slows the game down, and you don't ever have to worry about the biggest unit on the board of the enemy. It's all be stunned down. Okay. Game start draw two is pretty nice. Uh, games game start get excellent mana gems. Pretty good. You can play uh, Vegar faster. Uh, round in reduce the cost of the most expensive card in your hand. Majority of the cases is going to be Vegar or uh, Kindred, but because playing being able to play them for three mana is pretty good. When you summon an ally, grant a random keyword goes a long way. It doesn't really actually make that big of a difference with this deck because this deck is a spell heavy deck. This is more for unit uh, focused uh, deck. Pretty good on those stuff. Because Elusive and uh, Life Still can win you the game right there. This is uh, Vegas 3 star power, round start, create a darkness in, uh, create a darkness that costs zero in hand. It's 
pretty nice. And of course, game uh, and this is a Vegas two star part. If game such you get one ex uh, one extra mana, and of course, all your darkness accelerated from slow to burst. And if I if I remember correctly, if you play Sena, which you should never ever take Sena in this deck, Sena pushes or pulls down the speed of darkness from burst to fast. So never ever put Sena in this deck. Absolutely horrible. I found out found it out the hard way. Never ever. And of course, the other power is game start, heal your nexus for four, and of course, game start. Draw champion or specifically uh Vegar Legend Legend 20 rank, you get get a free draw of a champion in your deck. And that's about it.